literature, uh, art, classical music, so on. And it's wonderful to see that no thanks to my generation. Now young people are getting interested in literature, they are writing books and they are reading books. And uh, on one hand, we see that there are so many other sources. You have uh, um, uh, 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 television, you have uh, uh, iPads, you have so many other sources. But I think the book has its own charm. And the kind of imagination, the kind of fantasy a book can provide you, I'm afraid even cinema cannot do it. Because when you are reading a novel, you are not only the reader, but you are also the director, you are also the art director, you are the cameraman, and you are the casting director. Everything is being formed in your mind. While in films or on television, you are served the menu, this is it. This is the set, this is the visual, this is the face of the heroine, this is the face of the hero, this is the location. While making, uh, reading a novel, you create everything on your own. Uh, and I have noticed that, you know, what is the advantage when you are reading the novel, that your sets are elastic. Sometimes they can be oblong, sometimes they can be square, the same set. You can change them immediately. Dracula, you know, if you see any of the productions of Dracula and you read the book, while you have sound effects, you have visual, you have background music, and on the paper you only have words and paper, but the kind of chill that will bring down your uh, backbone, that book, film cannot do it. This is the magic of words. And I must say that whatever I have not finished the book, I have uh, read from here and there. I mean, I must say that my young friend, Devashish, has created the magic. So he takes you in. When you will read about these characters that were mentioned, you will identify with them, you will feel that you know them, or you would rather like to know them, whatever. So congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. And Arjun, we love to know your thoughts. We love to know your thoughts about young writers and youth coming out like this. And novels with more than two heroes. I mean, it's good for heroes. That's why it, they keep asking us, na, women oriented picture hai ban rahi hai, which I keep telling them, look at it in the nicest way possible. There are better characters for actresses being written rather than just looking at it ki female centric picture. Hai. I think uh, that's a new uh, wave in conversation that has come up, but it's been there for many years. Characters for women just on screen have now become fantastic. That's why it seems like a wave. But where literature is concerned, we've always had fantastic female characters as well. And this book is no exception to have. Uh, Bipolar, nahi, but tripolar almost. The girl has uh, got three shades, so it's amazing. Uh, but before I go on about the book, I would uh, like to just say I'm uh, nervous, apprehensive, or sharam aariya because uh, uh, I'm sitting with two gentlemen who have seen me grow up. <laughs> I have no capacity to speak in front of them without mumbling and jumbling and not making any sense because uh, we are here with the master of words, uh, Mr. Javed Akhtar. I think his body of work speaks for itself, and when he speaks, Everybody stops their work uh, and he is one of the nicest people I've met and I'm honored and flattered to be sharing stage with him today to uh, be part of this movement like he said where literature, art and being an artist I can promote and encourage a new talent like him. Um, I think our industry um, more than ever before being selfish as an actor and what I've understood um, we have now realized the value of good writers. I think uh, beyond his era when he did branch out and stem out and prove with uh, Salim sahab that writing is the backbone of any good film at the end of the day. There was a phase, like he said, where a lot of things got lost. We tried to put in all those uh, masala ingredients into cinema, into even maybe the writing, uh, into the thought process and there were a lot of things that went haywire in between. But I do see tremendous amount of value and I foresee it will come back for young writers, for people who have a vision, for people who want to take chances. And I think the cinema that is doing well is stemming from the fact that there are better writers being inculcated into cinema. And Devashish also is an example of that. He started from 
what I feel is a very, very important route. He's done television. And I think that's a very, very underrated uh, element of uh, being creative because you've got to write on the spot, you've got to write for the next day, you've got to write thinking about pan-India. And if you can cater to that generation, that audience, then you're capable of delivering, uh, whether it's a book or tomorrow it's a film. So I think it's fantastic that he's come up the hard way, the correct way. And I think he's experienced enough to handle a book today. And I'm very, very glad that Harper Collins is giving young uh, writers a chance. More importantly, giving young talented writers a chance. I have to confess, uh, I don't have a ferocious appetite for reading. Uh, I scripts very good. I was saying that if you make a script, I probably will read it quickly. I have to confess, I don't read a lot. I do watch a lot of films because I've grown up in that generation. And my father being a film producer, I've always ended up watching films. Um, but I'm really, really just happy to be here to support somebody who has the potential and talent. And hopefully it will get nurtured as time progresses and he gives us many, many more fantastic books, not only this one. Ha! I didn't screw up. Devishi is uh, talking about... Uh, yeah. I'll talk here. Okay. Sir, media nikal I think. Train ka pata nahi. <laughs> you say, sir, you've read the book. Yeah, I read the book. I read it four months back. Oh, okay. I read it, in the, it was given to me 400 typed pages. I read that. Very exciting, entertaining, enlightening book. You have described the entire book very well, but you fumbled in your last sentence. When you said it is a great commercial book. I'm sorry, the word commercial has become an abuse today. Because well, commercial is cheap, it's not certainly cheap. There are certain very serious philosophical passages in the entertaining book. And he is dealing with number of themes. One of the themes is who is normal, who is abnormal. Huh? In our times, in our abnormal times, it is really very difficult to decide who is normal. In the novel, there is a character of three sisters who throughout the novel look absolutely normal, healthy, happily married woman. Then one day suddenly the mask fall. And what is revealed is horrifying. While reading that particular chapter, I said, oh my God, this is Sister's Karamzo. This is Sister's Karamzo. So sir, tell your marketing team, it's not only commercial, it's a very valuable thing. And I am glad to tell you that uh, Debesis with his uh, partner Anshul Vijayanargi have penned two scripts. In spite of writing so many serials, they have found time to write a script entitled Roshan and it will be a milestone of a film. Hmm? Milestone of a film. And as far as this novel is concerned, that is it's highly uh, film worthy. Highly film worthy. And Javed Sahib gives me a boon, one boon every year. So this year I am in cash trick bringing him here. Next year I may be, I go to him and say please script it. Hmm? And if Mr. Arjun Gabur and Kangala Ranawat agree to work, I am prepared to produce the film. I am prepared to produce the film if these two first talented young people agree to work. And you know, producing a film with Arjun Kapoor and Kangana Ranawat is no financially risky proposal at all. These days, all films with top stars are safe for the producer. Gone are the days when Guru Dutt had to repay 28 crore rupees in Kagaj ke Fool and Raj Kapoor had to make a bobby to clear the days of the Ranawat Jokas. Gone are those days now. So if these two stars agree, I'll certainly make a film on this book. Don't ask this question only from them. Don't ask this question for the next three months. Don't ask this question when it's been made, when it's been made, when it's been made, when it's been made. Now you ask this question. No, no, no. That's right. Jain Sahib said, one book is here. So now my number is 2016. Now, since while speaking, you said these two young people. So after hearing that, I'm willing to do anything for you. No problem. I think he's referring to you and Kalna in the young people. <laughs> Devashish, uh, my question is to you. 
So while so uh, you write about Mia, this fascinating character, what inspired you to write about Mia? Do you know a Mia in real life that inspired you to write her? Uh, I think the front, I think the frank truth would be that uh, Mia is based on a couple of women I know, but all different women, fortunately. They yeah, <laughs> they are actually, but uh, they've come on condition of being anonymous, so. <laughs> We we'll leave it at that, yeah. I think Alicia is there within uh, each one of us to an extent. I, 